Okay, I figured it's time to show an update on uh, my winter worm bin update. It's January 2nd, 2014. Today's not too bad. It's uh, about 50 degrees, getting some light rain right now. I'm going to hurry up and do this before it comes down harder. We've had days down into uh, seven or nights at 17 degrees sometimes, and highs up around 70, uh, 7, 78 degrees, which makes it pretty difficult, especially when you're gone a lot. So I'm going to show you something I came up with that seems to help maintain a stable uh, worm bin temperature. If we look down here, what you can see is a uh, thermometer. It's one of them uh, pad heaters and it goes from 68 degrees on up. It's got a cable. I got into the worm bin. I'll show you more of that in a second. So I just said at the minimum 68. So when I'm gone and the temperatures outside get hot, I don't have to worry about the light being on and burning up the worms. I had one case last year where it was, I think I lost a couple. It got up in the low 90s because it got a hot spell while I was out of town. So this way I don't have to worry about it. There's the, the light from like just like last year. It's plugged right into this. Found it on uh, Craig, not Craigslist, but uh, eBay. Got it for 25 bucks. It's well worth it if it keeps me from having the hassle of uh, my worms uh, dying off. Uh, it shows flashing on uh, the monitor here, but in real life it's not. I think it's just a camera thing. Okay, let's show you the top of the bin. Okay, here we go on top. Take this off. Getting ready to feed them. That's why you see. Uh, right here some ground up uh, food p particles and then in that container there is uh, carrying a worm chow and it's definitely time I want to be uh, getting on my Bokashi worm bin mix too but if you look over here what I did is that the thermostat the cable that comes off of that worm heater or that heater comes up over here ran it through here and I keep it near the top and so when the top up here gets right around 68 degrees or colder, the light will come on. And then as it gets above that, of course, it goes back off. Helps regulate. Does a pretty good job. Right now I'm showing, I don't know if you can see it. I won't clear, clearly show. But this right here shows uh, 77 degrees. And the one on the bottom here showing I'm sorry, this one's the top one. It shows 76 degrees. So this being right near the surface, and since I had the door open, being digital, this one over here, the, the wire, it uh, went down below 68, so the light came back on. So for those of you that have climates like I do down here in North Carolina, that can range from the 70s down to way below uh, the freezing level, this could be something that might be able to help you out. And just to recap, uh, like from last year, there's leaves I gathered in the fall, bagged them up, and stored them. And I use that for top of the compost bin. Works real well. Better than having to shred up uh, cardboard. I put about two or three dozen uh, worms in uh, that one. They're already showing signs of reproducing. I'm finding cocoons. It doesn't get too hot now, so they can survive. And by spring, that'll be full of uh, worms and good compost ready for the garden and what we have right here is a bunch of uh, yard waste leaves grass clippings coffee grounds a little bit of food waste and my wife had some exp uh, expired yeast we put it in there come spring around April this will be ready for the garden we'll just mix it in real well we did over there last year I can't remember if it was the one with the uh, roses there or the one next to it but it was full of earthworms and uh, broke down really nice. Helps uh, maintain a level in the soil. So it's always a good compromise. If you don't have a lot of space, a lot of time, you just make a pile up like this, let it sit, and every so often come out and just mix it up by, by hand and you'll have a, a good product at the end. It's a good compromise. And I hope that helps. It'll uh, definitely, it's made a big difference in this yard during the spring through summer. And I hope, uh, you find something interesting in this. If you have any questions, please post. Happy composting.